വെൽക്കം ടു ദ ഇ കണ്ടൻ ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് സെൻ്റർ മജിലിസ് ആർട്സ് ആൻഡ് സയൻസ് കോളേജ് പുറമണ്ണൂർ ഐ എം ആസിയ അസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് പ്രൊഫസർ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് സ്റ്റഡീസ് ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ടോപ്പിക് റോൾ ഓഫ് ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ടേഷൻ ഇൻ ടൂറിസം ആഫ്റ്റർ ദിസ് ക്ലാസ് യു വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ടേഷൻ ടൂറിസം മോഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ടേഷൻ ആൻഡ് റോൾ ഓഫ് ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ടേഷൻ ഇൻ ടൂറിസം ലെറ്റ് എസ് മൂവ് ടു ദ ടോപ്പിക് role of transportation in tourism what is transportation the movement of people or goods from one place to another place by a means of transport is called transportation transport helps people to move from tourist generating area to the tourist destination area tourism is one of the fastest growing and perhaps the most far reaching industries globally transportation act as an integral part of tourism connecting the tourist generating and destination areas the capacity of a transport system determines the pace of tourist flow besides an increase in the capacity of transport system the provision of comfort reasonably high speeds with safety discounts in the ticket and light refreshments are incentives it enhances the tourism activities in such areas sometimes good or bad experiences in transport services leave an imprint on the mind of the tourist for for whole of their life sometimes good or bad experiences in transport services leave an imprint in the mind of the tourist for whole of their life hence it is clear that tourist transport system is very essential for growth and development of tourism measures needed to boost tourism clear information on location distance and fare for tourist sites should be given along with a timetable and information about connecting buses rail and air modes of travel should also be given updated arrival and departure information should be available on information boards internet and telephone age and physically challenged tourists should be treated well a system of standard signs and symbols should be developed and installed on road railway stations and air terminals infrastructure in tourist transportation should be created and improved eco friendly transportation should be developed all terminals and stations should be neat clean and tidy strict action should be taken against the persons who mislead the cheat tourists tourist police should be there to help especially for female tourist next topic is modes of transportation there are different modes of transportation they are road transport rail transport water transport and air transport first road transportation road transportation provides basic accessibility in connecting various people and places its main advantages are good flexibility reliability speed and cheaper cost it is accessible to a large number of people and it is more efficient than other means of transport it can take the tourist up to the final destination point National and state highways both are very important in the development of fine network of roadways both flyovers and good conditions of road have helped to increase the travel and tourism activities across the world different types of road vehicles are used like car taxi coaches buses and jeeps which can connect rail air and water transportation to each other next topic is water transportation since the indus valley civilization rivers have been used for transportation of goods and human beings there are three major dimensions of tourism categories of water transport coastal shipping inland waterways sea transport lakes rivers canals backwater sea are very important modes of water based tourism all over the world travel by ship was the main means to travel overseas until the middle of 20th century The earliest type of boat was a raft made of grasses, logs and other light material. Now, the quality of boats and ships has improved a lot and most of the discoveries of the world were made through water transport. This is evident as tourism through cruises is increasing day to day and has an excellent potential. Next topic is rail transportation. Railway is the most suitable and cheap means of transport for long distance traveling as compared to road transport it is very cheap and comfortable for longer distances a huge number of people can travel together from one part of country to another 
for the purpose of business education sightseeing pilgrimage visit to friends and relatives there are various categories of coaches including general sleeper ac classes ac chair car etc the railway provides basic infrastructure for the movement of tourists to nearly all parts of the country in modern times an interesting development is in the advent of high speed trains with various facilities like refreshment berth food internet and washroom etc it has created a significant increase in travel and tourism sector air transportation at the global level air travel is the second most popular mode of transport after road air transport is used to carry tourists and luggages over long distances and it has a very important role to play in the tourism development at global level demand of air transport is increasing as it has made it is easy to visit any place in the world within 24 hours airports provides the entire basic infrastructure which is needed for passenger comfort it is the fastest means of transport one can reach the destination in hours covering the distance of thousands of kilometers air transportation has connected all nations of the world it has transformed the whole world into a global village this mode of transport is free from surface hindrances such as inaccessible mountains dense forest marshy land flooded areas hot and cold desert popular airlines in india are indigo air india spicejet go first air asia india vistara alliance air etc indian railway and tourism indian railway provides the principal mode of transportation for public and tourists india has the second largest railways network in asia and the fourth largest in the world after usa russia and china ministry of railways is making positive efforts for improving the demands of passengers like increasing faster trains safe and comfortable journey tourism promoting trains indian railways are running few special trains to promote tourism in india such as toy train palace on wheels fairy queen heritage on wheels bharat darshan train train of darjeeling etc few special trains have been started to promote tourism in india they are toy train palace on wheels fairy queen heritage on wheels palace on wheel palace on wheel is a royal train which provides all inclusive package tour of 7 days covering important tourist sites of rajasthan delhi and agra its coaches have luxury services and this is popular among domestic and international tourists who want to enjoy sightseeing of the region traveling in sheer luxury and enjoying delicious cuisine simultaneously fairy queen train it has the oldest steam locomotive engine it departs from delhi and stops at alwar where guests are taken to the sariska tiger reserve forest for an overnight stay heritage on wheels it is a luxury train connecting small cities of rajasthan consisting of 14 saloons each one is designed by keeping in the mind the heritage and culture of rajasthan bharat darshan it is a special tourist train which covers all the important places in the country the affordable cost of tour package covers accommodation arrangement for each coach tourist buses for visiting sightseeing spots etc metro rail and trams to some extent delhi metro rail has shown significant impact in solving the transportation problems in the city it is completely air conditioned safe and clean it provides connectivity to major tourist sites and provides comfortable journey to the tourists tram has been running in kolkata city since british times along with the daily and local commuters the tram is providing comfortable and cheap journey to the tourists also the kolkata tramway has many vintage features it uses a trolley pole and foot gong which is rare among international tram systems so today i discussed about the topic role of transportation in tourism hope you understand thank you